Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and for today's video, I'm just going to come right out and say it because I've talked with enough families to know that this can be a problem or a barrier for them in regards to getting help for their baby after a birth injury or birth trauma. And what I want to come out and say is don't let your current financial situation prevent you from reaching out and speaking with the birth trauma attorney because you may be surprised to learn that there are things in place that some law firms and some attorneys have to help families like yours. All right, and so for today's video, I wanna talk about one of those things, which is the contingency fee agreement. And what this means is that the attorneys or the law firm, they will front a lot of the cost. They will, they will help you get your case into court. And so what will happen is at the end of everything, if there is a, a settlement or if there's a jury verdict, then they will recoup these costs and their legal fees and all of these things. They will recoup that at the end. So the reason why this contingency fee agreement is so important is because what it does is it will allow parents and it will allow families to go ahead and be able to prosecute their case and get their baby the help that they need. Like I said, I've talked to a lot of families with this and sometimes you know, it's, it's just disheartening to learn that, that families will go ahead and forego or would not even think to ask because of their current financial situation. And a lot of the thinking is, well, you know, lawyers are expensive, they charge a lot by the hour and there's no way I can afford that. I'm trying to pay rent, I'm trying to pay my car note, trying to keep a roof on uh, over, over my children and my family uh, head and I've got all of these responsibilities going on and I just don't have the time for it. So the, the purpose of today's video is to help you understand that if you are in this situation and you know your baby does need help and you know, you've got more questions about what happened. Uh, your baby's uh, brain injury at birth, was this caused by something during labor and delivery to the doctors or the hospital, the nurses, that they missed something? Were there some signs there and, that they, and they missed it and now your baby has to meet these challenges going into the future and you're just concerned, well, I'm not gonna reach out because I don't have any money to be able to do it. So that is the purpose of today's uh, video, to help you understand the contingency fee agreement and how it can help uh, families. Now, before I leave and before I finish this video, I want you to make sure that you understand that when we're talking about contingency fee agreements and you're talking to attorneys about these things, you wanna make sure that you understand all of the terms in your contingency fee agreement. You wanna make sure that you understand things, for example, costs. I talked about costs a little bit earlier, but you wanna make sure that you understand who is paying for the cost. Will the lawyer front all of the costs and stuff on the front end. That is what my firm does. But you want to make sure that if you're talking to another law firm, will they do that also? Or will they make you at the beginning pay for certain things? So you just want to make sure that you understand these terms and that you do not sign, do not sign your name until you understand all the terms. If you've got some, if there are some things that are confusing in the agreement, get them to, uh, to explain it. Get them to say, you know, you're saying, hey, look, I don't understand. What does this term mean or what does this sentence mean? If you've got problems with it, have them to, un to explain it better so that you understand. All right. So that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Like I said, I'm Marcus Boston. If you have more questions, the phone number is on the screen. You can pick it up and you can give me a call. I talk with families about situations like this birth trauma, HIE, CP, cerebral palsy, uh, meconium aspiration syndrome, shoulder dystocia, brachial plexus injuries. I speak with families all the time about these types of issues, and I'll be happy to take some time and also listen to your story. Like I said, I'm Marcus Boston. That's going to be it for today's quick educational video. I am one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. We will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.